All right. Hey, folks, Captain Jim Hanley reporting to you back in Buffalo, New York, after a great winter on the Gulf of Mexico fishing for food chain fishing. It's always a blast. Right now, I'm in my Lake Erie preparation mode for my bass month of May. May on Lake Erie is just absolutely phenomenal. It is a time when those big trophy smallmouth come uh, to where they're available to be caught. Big ones, matter of fact, our biggest one ever was an 8-4 smallmouth caught, I believe, May 27th in 2017. You don't forget those days. But anyway, hey, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. What I'm going to do today is talk about reel maintenance. Now, I'm just getting ready. I was sitting here and I said, I got to get my reels ready for my customers because my first trip is in a couple weeks. And one of the things that I really noticed, especially when I was in Florida, and I'd regularly maintain the reels in Florida, you have to wash them down every day. You have to make sure that they are, um, you know, sprayed off and, and lubricated well. And one thing I noticed, we got a couple of new pens in was that when I checked them out, even after using them a little bit, they are just packed with so much extra grease that it's, uh, I was wondering myself, you know, why is there so much grease in there? And all I can think of is that when the companies uh, sell you a reel, they assume you're probably never going to take it apart. And I would imagine that probably 90%, maybe it's somewhere around in there, of the people who purchase a reel from the factory out of the box, never lube it. So they put extra heavy grease in there to make sure that at least there's some lubricity inside of that reel. So I like to take them apart, not a lot, and I don't have to go inside the gears or anything, but I take them apart where the grease is kind of extra heavy and just use a simple oil, like three in one, um, I did a video a while back on a Fluger. I put line on a Fluger and it got slammed. There was a lot of people that liked that. Flugers are great reels. I'm going to go through what I do, simple maintenance, take them apart a little bit, take the spool off, take the handle and the cap on the other side where you switch the handles and just clean out a little of the grease and put a little bit of oil in it. You'd be amazed how much better they work. And if you're a really conscientious fisherman, you're gonna do that a couple times a year. Now my reels get used, you know, anywhere from 100 to 150 days a year. So it's a lot of use, probably more use on one of my reels than some of people might put on in a lifetime. So let's get started. All right, so let's start out with a little bit of lubing a brand new reel. Now, why would I have to lube it? Because I want it to run smooth and I want to get all of the factory grease out of the uh, um, areas where they put it in because, as I said, a lot of people probably will never, ever open up a reel to lube it. So what we do in our uh, taking the handle off. Instead of the righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, this is going to be right as loose. So get the handle off. So I'm going to take the handle off this end. And I am going to take any extra grease that might be on the, uh, on the threads. You can check that out. It's nice and clean. I'm going to do the same for here. So we're going to lube both sides at the same time. I'm going to remove the cap on this side. Let's see if there's any extra grease in here. No, this looks pretty good. Somebody didn't over lube it. You'd be amazed on some of the reels that you take apart. There is so much grease in there. I think somebody's just trying to cover their butt. So I'm going to put a couple drops of oil on each side. These have bearings in them, so let the oil spill over onto the sides. Now, you know, this not, might not be what the pure, absolute reel repair guy would do, but you know what? I use these on a daily basis. I use these sometimes, you know, uh, if it's bass trips, they might be you know, it might be a hundred times a, a year. Um, we're going to go lefty, tighty. <laughs> this is bad because I'm dyslexic, so. Anyway, all right, so we got that. We got that down. We're in good shape. So a few other places we're going to check. We're going to take our spool off. So open your bale, and we're going to unscrew. I can feel this is just like kind of overbogged right now as I'm taking it apart. Brand new. It says brand new line on it and everything. Matter of fact, this is probably one of the reels I did Um the video on last year. So no, it's not bad. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to look inside the spool. There's not a lot of grease there, but there is some. So I'm going to remove that grease. I'm going to take my paper towel, kind of dig into where the bearing goes. And 
set that aside. Now we're gonna look, I'm gonna close the bale, and I'm going to crank it so that it comes all the way out. And if we take a look, there isn't a whole lot of grease on this. So this one isn't bad at all. So there'll be, there's usually a ton of grease right there. And this is your bearing. This is a little washer right here, a little uh, fiber washer. And then a, a metal washer, here's your bearing. So I'm just gonna look inside of here. It doesn't look bad at all. So that's that's cool. I'm, I'm glad to see that. So now I'm gonna take my, uh, my three-in-one oil and I'm gonna put a couple of drops of oil right there. And I am going to turn it Make sure that that's going up and down. It's getting coated real good. And then I'm going to take another dab of oil and I'm going to put it right onto my bearing right there. That'll be in great shape. This thing will, will last with what I just did for quite a while. Now, remember when you're putting your spool back on when you're doing this disassemble, you got to turn your bail over because, you know, look, you, you know, if you do that, you go, oh my God, where'd the line? So make sure you flip your bale back over, put your spool back on. Uh, there's usually a lot of grease right in here. Check this one too. There is some grease right there. I'm going to take that off because I'm a regular maintenance guy. Now I can flip my bale back and start to uh, turn my uh, drag control. Turn that for a ways here. You know, preliminary, check your drag. It's on there. It, that's a little too tight. You know, once you start fishing, always check your drag again. All right, two other spots that I'll do on a new reel and an old reel. Actually, three. One of them is right here where the bale flips right there. Put a little dab right there, right in your spool. And put a little dab on the other part right there. If it's a little bit too much. Wipe it off, you'll be in great shape. Now this thing is ready to go. I have all the confidence in the world. This is gonna last the lube I just did on it for probably a good month, two months, and I'm gonna do it again. I can tell when I'm in the boat, whether it's salt water or fresh water, I can start to hear when they need it. I mean, I just, you know, I've been doing this so long, I can hear the difference. Just for the heck of it, I was noticing on this rod, I have some customers who think that cork is for putting their hooks in. Now, it, this is not a brand new rod. It's an older rod, but it's an all-star. It was a great rod, probably worth 150 bucks. And they put their, their hooks in there, and look at it, took a chunk right out of that. So I gotta fix that. And we'll, I'll do a, uh, a uh, rod repair uh, video one of these days, but that's annoying. All right, let's check out the Shimano. Uh, I haven't lubed this up since last year. These have been in my boat, so we're gonna do that. Shimano's are a little bit different. This has a thumb screw on the opposite side of the handle. Flugers, uh, the handle screw in. As a matter of fact, a funny story about my Flugers. Uh, when I had Fluger as a sponsor for the TV show, I had to call Fluger one day and order another 10 reel, uh, reel handles. And the guy said to me, why, what happened to your reel handles? I said, the customers reel the reel backwards and they're leaning over the side of the boat and they drop them in the lake. Hey, you never know. Okay, so that comes out. This is a Shimano, so it's a little bit different. So now I'm going to just wipe that off. You can see this one has been used quite a few times. I'm going to clean this off while I got it apart. Just give her a little bit of a wipe down there. Look at the other side. And again, all these new reels um, have, uh, so you can reel it from the right side or the left side. So we're going to take our 3-in-1 oil, put a couple drops in there on each side. And again, you really don't have to take a reel apart all the way uh, unless it's uh, something that's super broken in it. This is simple maintenance. You can save yourself some money by not going to the reel repair guy all the time. All right, so this one goes in. This is a little square here. Put her in there. Come over on this side. Now that I put it on the... Yep. To make sure. I right, put her in there. All right, good to go. Again, let's flip our bale, pull our spool off. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna check in here. This is one that I've used before, so I've cleaned it. Not a lot of grease inside, but I'm just gonna make sure, just take my paper towel, make sure she's cleaned out good. 
check out the uh, the shafts coming out of there. You can see it's a little bit dirty from uh, from use. Just wipe all that excess fatigued lubricity out of there. Wipe off the front. The Shimano doesn't have the uh, the bearing in the front the way that the Fluger does. Make sure it's clean. Again, a couple of a couple of drops on here, just a drop on the gear, and put my bail over. You know what? While we're doing it, let's do this one a little bit different way. Put a drop in here where the bail flips on the uh, spooler there. That's got a name, and I can't think of the name. I will look it up, and I will put it on the screen. Open our bail again. Put our bail on there, our spool, and start to tighten her down. Easy for me to say. I'm not very... Get her down, snug it down just a little bit. Flip the bail. Nice and smooth. There we go. And again, reset that bail when you, or the uh, drag when you get out in the boat. And that one's good for, uh, for a good series of uh, fishing trips. Hey, real maintenance is something simple. Just do it on a regular basis. Get used to it. Put it in your iPhone, in your calendar. Have it pop up that, it, you know, July 1st, you're going to oil them up again. It's simple. Hey, folks, while you're out and enjoying that beautiful creation, while you're fishing, hunting, whatever you're doing, take a moment to look up and give thanks. I'm Jim Hanley. See you next time.